Uh, namaste. It's uh, such a privilege uh, to uh, to interact with Kapilji. All of us have grown up admiring Kapilji, and I personally have had the good fortune of knowing Kapilji for more than 25 years. And he's such an amazing person, so down to earth. And I just want to relate one little incident. Once Kapilji and I were traveling back from London together, and as it so happened that we were sitting next to each other, and uh, you know, after all the, you know, all we were sitting comfortably, uh, someone from the from the airline ground staff and came up to Kapilji and said, uh, perhaps you won't remember me, but we used to play cricket together uh, for our school 40 years ago. And uh, it took Kapilji a, a minute and then he recognized him and then he just got up from his seat and, and gave such a warm hug to that individual. And I was sitting next so I could see his eyes moisten. And then he said, you know, there was another third uh, person who used to play with us and he's in New Zealand. Is it okay, Kapilji, if I connect with him? And two minutes later, you were doing a, a call with your uh, third friend in New Zealand. And it was just uh, seeing, observing uh, your warmth and your humility and how you had uh, made such an impact on your friend. And um, clearly from uh, what I was seeing from your friend in London, the impact on your friend in New Zealand. And, and that really personifies you. Humility, just so down to earth. Uh, Kapilji's records are absolutely amazing. You know, the, the, the first cricketer to get to uh, 200 uh, test wickets and, and 2,000 runs and the only cricketer to have uh, crossed 5,000 runs and 400 wickets. Uh, and what is amazing is not just the pace with which uh, you bowled, but in fact, how you changed Indian cricket. Because till you came about, uh, India was not seen as someone that, as a country that could produce a fast bowler and not only did you impress everyone with your bowling but your fielding and your batting uh, and what I think everybody doesn't always remember is that you never uh, got out run out in your 184 uh, innings and you never missed a test match 131 test matches you played because of fitness and that just goes to prove what a complete cricketer you've been and of course at 175 against Zimbabwe and that changed Indian cricket forever. So on behalf of the Global Association of Physicians of Indian Origin, Kapilji, it's such a privilege to welcome you. We're really, really honored. So Kapilji, I wanted to ask you, uh, you know, you are a leader uh, and you've been a leader from, from a very early age. What are your personal leadership mantras? What is your perspective on leadership, Kapilji? Yeah, I think there is no one method you can say you can be a leader like then. But one thing should be very common. If you have to be a leader, you have to look after your team. You can't ask all the time. Your team should give it to you and you are not ready to stand for the team. Uh, that's what I learn. Uh, come from a joint family, you always say uh, you have to work together. Not have to say I, me and myself. No. Uh, I believe that uh, if you have to carry the team, you have to carry the youngster, you have to carry the senior, you have to carry everybody and uh, make sure you motivate them. It's a difficult for the uh, for for a young man uh, to lead a senior team. That was the only difficult part I had. But again, if you are very honest with your seniors and say whatever you feel like and uh, where you feel you have crossed your line, you can easily go and say sorry to the senior. It's nothing wrong. And I used to believe that senior can add on to your performance because they can guide you well. For that, you have to take them in confidence. And that's what the leader mantra is all about when I played a cricket. A very important point you uh, mentioned, and this is very relevant for our young doctors, you know, when they graduate and, and come and start working, uh, they are seen as uh, leaders by everyone. You know, they, they'll be uh, interns, they will be uh, trainees, they'll be uh, housekeeping staff, they're, they're nurses, and they are uh, meant to behave like a leader. And sometimes it's, it's very daunting on how to take everyone along, because like you said, when you're very young, it's hard, you know, some of these leadership traits develop. Uh, in, in, in a person as one ages. And I think you said something so profound, which is that go to your seniors, go to someone more experienced and and, and take advice from them. Uh, let them become your mentors, take guidance. And, and if you feel that you've 
cross the line, go and say sorry, because that I think is very important. Saying sorry, uh, I mean, you don't become small by by saying sorry, and I think that 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 was coming out loud and and clear. Kapil ji, another thing, you know, so many challenges, and especially you know in India, the way cricket is focused on everybody. We have 135 crores. Every person is an expert on cricket, and he decides and he says, you know, this is how. uh you know the team should be constituted this is how everyone should uh you know go out there and bat or bowl or field the field placement and so on so when it's when the when the going is good of course everybody say wow wow and when things are uh, are not going good and it's not possible for anyone to win every match then of course everyone starts off with saying this could have been done that could have been done and so on and so forth so personally i mean you 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 face those challenges yourself uh, despite the incredible success you've had there would have been moments when you felt uh you know a, a little down how did you pull yourself up what advice would you give to to our uh, you know physicians on that i think it's a different time different phase uh, phase of life uh, one have to say uh, again i would say it's not one mantra you can pick up and say this is the way you can uh, succeed uh, the, the you know it happened in india as you said 135 crores people everybody has opinion that's why this game is so big you know because everybody has an opinion but everybody doesn't uh, uh, not have played the game but he has an opinion the best part uh, about cricket is they change their opinion after the game <laughs> everybody i mean we also sometimes if i am watching the match after the match talking is very easy but again uh, we can't really if i put it that way i can't tell doctor middle of the operation what he is doing after the operation i can talk to the doctor and say i think this is not went uh, went right or went wrong these are the things one have to understand that nobody is perfect people will make a mistake but when a doctor doing a operation does he know better than i know i'm a outsider making opinion and as a player i shouldn't mind what people say i am going to make a mistake and i'm going to get the best for my team but if i make a mistake let it be because you learn with the mistake it's not you won't learn with the mistake you become a better captain better leader if you make less mistake you make more mistake people will say that and that's opinion of everybody you can't stop anybody let it be let them talk but to best of your ability are you talking and you are working and behaving in the same manner that's more important and i think in today's world when there is so much scrutiny i guess uh, you know sometimes doctors also get very influenced by what somebody is saying and if you have given 100% and you've been true to the cause then that's what really will be the the pillar of of uh, strength and, and and support for you kapil ji um, you know we are seeing uh, really uh, an epidemic of non communicable diseases these days you know a, a lot of people because of sedentary lifestyle you know not eating right not having a routine not being disciplined are falling a prey to many of these lifestyle diseases now you have an incredible record because of injuries you never missed a single test match and and that is absolutely incredible so i just wanted uh, you to give some advice to all our doctors because you know all doctors are very busy we lead very stressful lives we are dealing with life and death the mental pressure is huge and quite often our own health you know uh, becomes second stage and we don't give enough importance and as someone who's who's so fit and has always been fit what would what what would your advice be because you know we keep telling doctors please focus on your health you owe it to yourself you owe it to your family you owe it to your patients so any advice that you would want to give on that first of all no doctor can tell me what do i feel inside it is my duty to tell the doctor this is the way i feel i think judging yourself is more important you can be doctor you have to look after yourself first and then you can look after everybody and i always says the patients should or the players should come out 
एज ए क्रिकेटर ही हैव टू से कि आई एम नॉट फीलिंग कंफर्टेबल हियर आइदर फेसिंग समबडी और बोलिंग टू समबडी ही हैव टू ही नोज बेटर देन अ कैप्टन बट द कैप्टन आल्सो शुड गुड इनफ टू लिसन टू हिम नॉट टू ट्राई टू फोर्स हिम टुडेज क्रिकेट इज whatever the captain want that should be the answer no whatever doctor want it's not the answer doctor can only do the work is when the patient is honest to the doctor and then doctor have to be honest i think within the doctor what you said if a doctor going through stress first doctor have to handle himself in the aircraft also everybody say first look after yourself then look after the baby put a mask on yourself then put the mask on baby so is the same thing today need of the r is doctor have to look after himself then he can look after every patient doctor have to be happy doctor happy man you don't need a cribbing doctor standing front of you so to my advice to the doctor is only be a happy every time a cricketer not going to make a 100 but every time he is not going to make a zero your best effort will take you somewhere where you deserve to be that's again very profound advice and and quite often uh, you know we 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 hear this doctor heal yourself first and i think make time for yourself and and find happiness in little things because we're also blessed in that we have the opportunity to bring back a smile on someone who comes to us with pain to take their worry away and that in itself is 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 very gratifying but we need to capture these micro moments of mindfulness really and and feel uh, happy so you know these days couple g uh, and and i'm saying this on behalf of all the the young uh, doctors that we uh, get into and welcome into the profession there is a generational shift that has happened and and you know that's happened in cricket at your time it was ranji and you know first class cricket test cricket and then came 50 overs and then of course the transition to t20 and what have you with ipl so similarly what we are seeing in certain specialties in medicine that that uh, young doctors are not willing to go and 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 you know spend that many hours to train you know the long night duties for example cardiac surgery they find it very very intense neurosurgery the training is very long you know the stress levels are very high and and they are of a different nature also because you know there are just so many job opportunities and a lot of doctors now talk about work life balance and you know how much should i work and how much should i have free time and so on but you know to be an excellent doctor there are absolutely no no shortcuts uh, you have to put in uh, you know if you want to be absolutely world class as they say you need about 10000 hours of training uh, in 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 any field uh, so when a young cricketer comes to you and says uh, kapil paji i want to be like you what 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 do you say to that person i think uh, they shouldn't say like me they want they should be a better than me that should be the aim you set a bench for everybody i think the most important for the doctor or the cricketer is one thing i say are you having a passion about what you are doing or not i think it's important if you are passionate then you don't avoid anything as a cricketer they say you like batting or bowling i said i like cricket the bottom line is doctor have to like being doctor not you can say i am expert about one sure but keeping your eye open for other thing is nothing wrong learning is the best thing in this world in batting bowling or doctor or engineer or teacher you can't say you become the best doctor you can't learn more you can't say sachin tendulkar is the best cricketer or virat kohli he can't learn more he have to learn more more you study more you come to know how illiterate you are because the being a doctor being a sportsman is such a rich thing still you can learn much more as long as everybody whoever whichever profession ready to learn more i think you are the successful when you say you know everything 
then the problem comes. Uh, Kabil ji, it's not surprising on why so you've been so successful, why you were the a wisdom uh, cricketer of the century and why the government has honored you with the padam shri and padam bhushan is the value system that you uh, that you exemplify i mean be humble uh, be uh, be open to learning and and don't get arrogance ever to come in and if you think you know it all then you know very little uh, this whole concept of being a team player and very important and this is very very important for all young doctors who are just entering our, our field be passionate and let passion drive you so you know don't don't get enamored by a sub specialty or super specialty just because today it's popular it might not be popular 20 years down the road but if you make that decision based on what you're passionate about and as as kapil ji you said you you should be very happy and you should be in love with medicine and if you identify the specialty that you love you're going to be happy and you will perhaps give it 100% and uh, and be super successful thank you so much kapil ji for your time most grateful thank you very much thank you very